Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included. In the previous episode we have built our oxygen production system and there are a few things that I still want to change. For instance, I am not happy with the piping that I've done here. And I've just noticed what I could have done is wiggle my way up here and this would actually be a lot better. Also, another thing I would like to change is exchanging these gas vents with actual high pressure gas vents. So we are not going to run into any issues whatsoever in terms of getting the wrong gases into the wrong pipes. So I'm guessing the way we can achieve that is by actually, hmm, we might have to shut down the system first. So uh, let me go ahead and shut everything off here. Oh, hold on. That did not work. That did not work at all because we are still getting power from the hydrogen generators. <laughs> of course. So I guess to hurry up with that, we are actually going to deconstruct this very quickly. I'm also going to deconstruct these two tiles and we are going to get inside of here, deconstruct most of these tiles. Mm, yeah, that should technically work out. Oh, except we don't want to deconstruct this one. No, sir. Thank you. We naturally want to deconstruct all of the vents. That's for sure. And then we want to replace them with high pressure vents. Oh, wait, did I unlock them yet? Okay, guys, now you all have to work together in order to make this work, please. I'm gonna build them out of copper and, of course, plastic. That's what we need for them. Naturally, we will also have to take apart most of the piping. I think with that we should already be good. And we're going to immediately replace them as soon as we can. There we go, that actually worked out pretty nicely. So we can do something like that. And then we move up with insulated pipes, igneous rock. And we want to end up right in this spot. This is just before the aqua tuner. Actually, we're first going to run it into a liquid reservoir in order to make the cooling easier. But I'm going to be much happier with a system like this, I believe. Uh, hold on. I actually already did the vent thing. Okay. And the cables are still in place. Good, good, good. Please build me everything, guys. Actually, can they access the plastic? Yeah, indeed, they can at the moment because I shut down everything. Wonderful. Everyone is helping out again. I just love when the duplicates work together like this. Gives me good feeling. Yes, yes, yes. And now we're just gonna build this up block by block. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, hold the phone. What happened here? Oh, no. Um, you have to continue. Jeez, are you serious? Why did this happen? Um, let me wait with this metal tile so we still have access to everything. There we go. The gas vents are almost in place and that should then be a secure system. Okay, it didn't actually even take that long to recover from that reconstruction. Pipes are now correct. They are filling up everything. We still have those in place. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, collect some of these materials and then we're gonna close off this room again. We did lose a little bit of hydrogen, but we have a system in order to take care of that on the top. Actually, what happened with my carbon dioxide here? Yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna have to live with that, I guess. Okay, I think I took care of everything, so we are gonna replace the power. And since that is pretty much useless, let's actually do it a different way. Wonderful. Power is back and we are replacing the walls as well. Okay, this should now be more or less fail-proof because we have the ability to vent out the oxygen or hydrogen should they go into the wrong pipe for almost 20 kilograms. And I believe the electrolyzers already stopped working at around 2 kilograms. So no matter what happens, we now should be fail-proof. And we should now also see a vast improvement since we are distributing the oxygen a little bit better. We can also send the oxygen into the other world. Let's maybe check on the second planetoid what is our situation at the moment. Okay, it's actually not looking bad in terms of breathability. I think I can even pop this up to 1,500 grams now. Eh, maybe let's even do 2,000, you know, get the maximum out of it. So we wouldn't even need the automation at this point. Actually, what's going on with our polluted water? This is still going on. Okay, I guess it's time to produce some more steel. Let's actually start with copper. We're gonna produce 20 more crafts of those and another 40 crafts of iron. And then we're gonna do 20 crafts of steel. This should then naturally heat up our water so that we can use it in order to process further. Okay, time to take care of the cooling solution because at the moment, of course, this is a pretty hot oxygen and we want to prevent this from, you know, disturbing the ecosystem too much. 
Another issue we might actually run into is that we don't use up the entirety of the hydrogen. Yes, we could probably do a better job. Maybe even with a secondary level for the hydrogen generator. So we just use it completely up. Not sure though, in the later game we might use the hydrogen in order to fuel up our rockets. We will have to see about that. So I think for the time being what I'm gonna do is just lead up the hydrogen out here, vent it out so it's gonna go all the way up and then it's gonna be picked up by my secondary system here. And until we have a better solution for that, that's how it's gonna go. And at this point I think we should be ready to deconstruct this liquid lock. Yes, let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to set up a tiny steam room in order to take care of the cooling. Okay, time to take the rest of the system apart here and then we are gonna start to reconstruct it. Actually, I'm gonna need my space for the steam turbine. How large is this thing again? Okay, we can actually perfectly fit it on here. I don't even have to take apart my ladders. Steam turbine, I'm gonna build this out of copper since we have a lot of it. And then we also need to hook it up to our main cable here, the heavy watt wire. Ah, come on. Gonna bring this all the way over here. I might redo this in the future. You know, it might be better to come down here at this point. Oh, actually, we should go ahead and disable this. I don't need that any longer. And what I would like to see here is a liquid reservoir. Now, this could get up to 200 degrees, right? I don't think it's ever gonna reach those temperatures, but we now need access to a little bit more steel. Are you crafting steel? Hmm, crafting... Ah, I think it did the copper ore at the moment. Okay, is this heating up? Good, good, good. So we're getting slowly but surely above the 20 degrees mark, replenishing our water. Yeah, but if I want a liquid reservoir in this place, it needs to be made out of steel. So we're gonna have to wait for that. The same thing actually applies to our thermo aqua tuner. This also needs to be made out of steel. And it will require 1,200 kilograms. This is actually insane. Maybe we stop the crafts that are currently going on. So no more copper, no more iron for now. And we need like 30 crafts of steel in order to make this work. Oh, there we go. We already have enough for the first liquid reservoir. This is perfect. That allows me to do the piping. And I just realized that is going into the wrong spot. So this needs to go something like that. We are going into the input here. Um, could we turn around the reservoir? I think that's one of the buildings. Yeah, you can turn this around. So the next thing we're going to need is a liquid bridge that is going to go over. So from the output, we're going out and then we want to go down one more block like so and into the aqua tuner. The aqua tuner, as mentioned, is going to decrease the temperature of the liquid by 14 degrees, expelling the heat out into the system. So we will have to fill this up with a tiny amount of water. And maybe in order to do that, we can already deconstruct this and maybe set up another tile here so we can have our bottle emptier here and drop in a little bit of water. We're also going to need a liquid pipe thermo sensor that we can build out of copper and it should dictate whether or not we want to go into the aqua tuner or bypass it. So right here we're going to have the input of the aqua tuner, the output is going to be on this side. If it outputs directly from the aqua tuner, then we want to go down. Oh, actually, hmm, hold the phone. The whole reason for the liquid reservoir is that we get an even temperature for the entirety of the loop, right? So theoretically, it should go from the reservoir into the loop, so we have the perfect 20 degrees. And if it is above 20 degrees, it should go into the aqua tuner. So maybe after all, we are gonna completely reverse that. This essentially means we would want the liquid reservoir here. Let me see, made out of steel. This should go right there. And then we take the piping, get out of here, check the temperature. We could do this at this spot. If the temperature is too high, we are then gonna go into the aqua tuner whose input is gonna be right here. So we can probably get rid of at least those pipes and then we take those pipes and go into... No, that's wrong. Wait a second, I totally messed this up. Of course, what we want to do is go from the output into the sensor. That's what I wanted to see. And then we need to lead this into a liquid shutoff. The liquid shutoff unfortunately also has an overheat temperature, so we are gonna make this out of steel as well. So if the temperature is too hot, we wanna open the shutoff and go directly into the aqua tuner. From the aqua tuner output, we then wanna go into the input of the reservoir, balancing out the temperatures in there. So as long as it's going up, it's gonna be cooled down and it's going down in fractions of a degree until we are cold enough. 
if we're cold enough, then we're gonna shut the liquid shut off and then we get into our loop. That's exactly how we want to do it. How can I uh, connect this? This is always a little bit confusing. This also means after the loop, we want to go ahead and input this into our liquid reservoir. I think that should work out just fine. So you're gonna go right there. This means we have two inputs for the liquid reservoir, but it should still work this way. Also, let's not forget about the bottle emptier so we can get this out of the way. And then we're gonna need a source of liquid. We'll probably take water this time around or we just tap into our oil. Why the heck not? Yeah, I think we could do something temporary and just get up there and fill up this loop for instance like so. That should actually work out. Wonderful. And here we can see my polluted water is heating up again. Now, of course, I'm gonna need uh, the steel. Next dormancy, fortunately enough, is only in 52 cycles. So at least that is not working against us. I think I want to bring this up to 25 degrees so we can do a bunch more crafts. At the moment, we're waiting for the coolant, of course. Before I forget, let's also set up the automation wire. The only wire we need is to the shutoff. Everything else should work hopefully like a charm. Gonna take another heavy joint watt plate in order to bring this into here. We're gonna need plenty of power for the aqua tuner. Now I'm not sure where the power outlet for that is, but we can already connect this. And what we want for the thermo sensor is if it is above 20 degrees, we wanna send it through the aqua tuner, otherwise we're gonna wait. Okay, looks like a bunch more pipes to go until we can fill up our loop with oil. And we're gonna fill it up until the reservoir is about halfway full. This way, the fluctuations are gonna be that tremendous. How much are we still missing? We have a thousand kilograms of steel. Okay, just a couple of crafts to go. Ari, make me proud. Camille, make me proud. Okay, that should be enough. Thermo aqua tuner, 1,200 kilograms of steel. Input and output are correct. So let's think one more time about this. From the reservoir, we're getting out into the thermo sensor. Then we either go into the aqua tuner back into the reservoir, or if it is cold enough, we're going out here into the loop, and then we go back into the reservoir. So this seems to be working out nicely. Why aren't you completing those pipes, guys? Do I really need to help you out here a little bit? Temperatures are getting pretty toasty, I have to admit, uh, so none too soon we will have completed this system. I'm really glad when this problem is no problem anymore. There we go, let's also hook up the power and finally drop a little bit of liquid here. Actually, one more thing I forgot about is the output of the steam turbine. We could add that here. Oh, actually, that's not possible. We would have to do something like that. Remove this pipe, remove this pipe. And then we want to go ahead, bridge over here, so we can lead the output pipe of the steam turbine into the room. Output pipe would be going through here, down there, and then we hop over with a bridge. Oh no. Actually, no, we don't need to hop over with a bridge. Okay, so all we need is a liquid vent right there. And then one more thing we could think about is cooling down the steam turbine at the same time. Why the heck not? So if we go up here, all we would have to do is take a little detour. Um, let me see. We might have to remove another pipe. Oh man, I'm really missing the pliers mod. But what we could do is have a single radiant pipe right here in the corner. That should be enough. And we're gonna take a little detour here. We are then gonna go ahead and also fill this up with a tiny bit of oil, for instance, in order to help cool down the steam turbine at the same time. This also means I wanna move my gas vent here a little bit. And we basically want to surround the steam turbine with a bunch of insulated tiles here as well. Uh, I just love watching these guys sometimes, especially once you've given plenty of commands and nobody has to do anything better than that. It's just a pleasure to watch. Anyways, I'm gonna need another bottle empty right here on the top. And it looks as though what we want to do is replace this tile here. And we don't want that. We don't want that anymore. Because of course we somehow have to get into this room as well. So I'm gonna need to build another plate here in this spot. This could actually become a problem with my gas vent here. So I'm gonna move this over even one more spot and cancel this. That actually already worked out. Uh, one... Okay, uh, oh no. Can I not do that? I first have to remove the cable. Okay. Can I do it now? Perfect. Now it's really taking shape. Okay, could we go ahead and drop a little bit of oil? I think that should be perfectly possible. We just need a tiny amount of it. Um, actually, this is already filling up my loop now. Intriguing. This is actually going into the wrong location here, but I think that's gonna be no problem anymore as soon as we take apart the bridge. 
But before I forget, we need to close the loop again. So this goes into here. I'm gonna fill up the liquid reservoir to about 2,000 kilograms, maybe two and a half thousand. I believe that would be half of it. And then one last thing we need to do is connect this to our liquid shutoff. Okay, nice, nice, nice. What do we have here at the bottom? I'm gonna probably drop a lot of oil now. Hmm, can I mop this up? Is this too much liquid? No, I can actually do that. Okay, let's see. We wanna drop some crude oil into here and drop some crude oil into here. Scalding. Oh, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Actually, it isn't too toasty. Maybe it's getting a little bit toastier towards that region. Another security measure I wanted to take is put this vent one more block down because it's always overflowing if we have the tiniest amount of water going on there. Okay, this should be plenty of fluids. That means I'm gonna take apart this bridge and hopefully then the loop is gonna run in the right direction. We will see that happen in just a second. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, that is exactly what I wanted to see. Now what we should be able to do is take apart a couple of these pipes and just drop the oil on the floor. And then for the rest of the oil, I think we can input that here. I'm also gonna take this apart so we can first empty all of these pipes. As I said, I'm just gonna need a tiny amount of it, which should theoretically now drop here on the floor. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And now I want to mop this up here as well so I have the oil in order to set up my rooms. The aqua tuner obviously is in full action and even though sometimes it's going to stop, this should be a fail-proof system, at least in theory. I don't mind if some of the packets in the beginning are actually going a different way. It's just gonna work this way in the beginning, but otherwise we should be good. Okay, we already have the oil in place here, which means we're gonna go for water next. And that we want to fill up with at least, let's say, a full bottle of 200 kilograms. We have the same thing here, just a bit more oil would actually be nice in order to handle this. And do I want to fill this up with hydrogen is another question. At the moment we have oxygen in there. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's the oil that is gonna primarily cool down the steam turbine, so it doesn't matter. Oh, 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 oh. I did not think about that. That is actually really bad. I got myself fooled here. What we have to do is put this one more block up. Okay, we can totally achieve that, but first we have to have more oil in the joint. Ashcan is actually bringing up the oil. Uh, no, that was not enough. Do we have more of it? No. Well, that is unfortunate, but in theory, this should already be enough. It's touching the steam turbine, it's touching the oil, and it's touching the radiant pipe. So I don't see why anything should go wrong in this case. So we're gonna take apart this bottle emptier. How the heck are we gonna fill this up with water? I guess what we have to do is bring this bottle emptier over one block. Okay, that might work out. This way we can already finish the steam turbine room. Great stuff. Wonderful, bottle emptier is in place. We wanna fill this up with water, as I said. At the moment, we don't have too much of it. But there we go, somebody's bringing a bottle. Now we're all the way up to around 33 kilograms. I'm gonna wait one more bottle. That should then be enough in order to give this a good density of steam. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this. And then I guess once we build these tiles, we should be golden. Oh no, no, nails. <sighs> Please make it out of there. Oh, actually, that's a good point. I might want to wait with that and pick up everything. Keep this proper and tidy. Uh, let's see. Somebody has to go to bed. Um, are, no, actually, they are not hurt enough at this point. Okay, the room is cleared up. Let's go ahead and finish this. Nice. And the water at the moment is around 45 degrees, so not too hot just yet. We are doing really well. Now, all we have to do is kind of observe these tiles. They should now get pretty cold, at least over time. Aqua Tuner, of course, is extremely busy at the moment. What does that mean for our power? During the day, apparently nothing. That is good news. And also, we seem to be able to keep up with the hydrogen now that we cannot produce as much oxygen anymore because all of these vents are actually full, which means absolutely crazy breathability for us. Still pretty toasty, but that is going to change very soon. But if we observe the number here in the liquid reservoir, we can see it has the tendency to go down. It just takes like 10 seconds in order to go down 0.1 degrees. It's maybe even less time. But once we got this sorted out, the aqua tuner shouldn't be working the entire time. It should only work occasionally, maybe for every fifth packet. And we should also see this loop going a little bit more fluent. At the moment, of course, every second packet is going through the aqua tuner, cooling down the liquid reservoir, and every other packet is going through the cooling loop. 
but all packets are starting at the same temperature. There is more cabling to take apart, I'm gladly doing that. This was actually the only functionality this transformer had, so I'm guessing we are gonna get that back. Come on, freaking safe. Actually, now that we bought ourselves a little bit of time, I want to restructure my pipes in a more sensible way, right? So what we are going to do with this is still get over here. However, I don't want to vent things out anymore. So this can go, this can go, the pipe, and then we bridge over here, go down, and we actually go down all the way, filling up this Atmo suit, go down here. We then want to turn around this bridge. We want to deconstruct all of these. Yeah, don't need that anymore. So it's now going into the other direction, distributing into this Atmo suit, which means all of that isn't necessary anymore. I kind of like this new arrangement. Actually, let me go ahead and rearrange this a little bit. I want to go through here and then bridge over there so we can use this for something else. Um, let me see. We still want to bridge over here, but this is going to be our secondary output which means I'm gonna need another bridge here and we take apart this uh, pipe here. Actually, not the bridge. I wanna keep the bridge, just the gas pipe. There we go, deconstruct that. And we also temporarily need to deconstruct that, but I wanna get from my second output right up here and then it's gonna go through the system and it's actually gonna continue. But maybe to make this less confusing, let's let them build a few things, especially take apart a few things. However, as of this point, we want to continue, maybe set up a vent here. We want to continue through the base even more, maybe set up another vent here. Actually, let's do this outside of the room since I left a little bit of space. So we can have a vent here, we can have a vent right there. Don't build that just yet. No, no, stop, stop, stop. There we go, you have to go up there. And then this is going to be our secondary output, pumping oxygen into this level. We can even continue, though that's probably not necessary at this point. And then the third output, mm, let me see, we don't need that anymore. Our third output is just going into this direction at the moment. I think we could potentially just leave that be. Maybe in order to help out with the cooling and more oxygen here at the bottom, we are just gonna continue the pipe, set up another vent here. And we don't need that vent anymore, that is for sure. We actually also don't need that vent anymore. I much rather have it right here. I think that is a better spot for it. Okay, cool. So this way uh, we use the first pipe in order to fill up the Atmo suit and provide oxygen to the secondary base. And the other two pipes are distributing the oxygen to the left and the right of the base. How are we doing with the temperature here? Already at 28 degrees, which means these tiles are slowly but surely also getting colder. It is a long-winded process, but you can already see it's kind of working out. Uh, at least it seems less red to me. However, I want this to change in today's episode, so we're gonna keep on observing this a little bit. We are down to 27 degrees and metal tasks. You could do a little bit better in my opinion. Maybe we should have gone with the petroleum instead or water because of its uh, heat capacity. I have to admit, oil isn't always necessarily the best to do this. It just has a higher tolerance and it's not gonna break your system so quickly. Okay, there we go. Time to craft a bit more copper and iron and then we're just gonna do five more steel crafts. Always keep the materials going, guys. We can also see venting out the hydrogen is absolutely no problem. My system on the top here can take care of it. And since we automated this pretty much, we're not running into troubles. Actually, it looks like we had some wrong gases in here. And the reason for that is probably because I should have set up this gas element sensor maybe one more block down or two in this case. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rebuild this. Maybe we can do this rather quickly. That would be great. This sensor, of course, is detecting the hydrogen and therefore is going to enable the pump. But if we do this a little bit lower, we can ensure the pump is only being enabled when there is a sufficient amount of hydrogen around. Oh, do we already have some steam in there? Wait a second. I totally forgot to take away the oxygen. Ah, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Oh no, this might actually be a huge problem. I first have to observe how this is actually working at the moment. So as soon as we get some steam in the joint, we should see how this is behaving. Yeah, I probably should have done this with a liquid lock and first pumping out everything, but I was too hasty. Though theoretically, we should eventually have way more steam in this room than oxygen. So it might be pushed into just one block, which wouldn't be that much of an issue in my opinion. We can also see the steam turbine is actively being cooled down, so that loop at least is working. 
and now we just have to wait for all the water to be converted into steam and then we observe it again. Maybe we don't even have to do anything about it. That would of course be the preferable solution. Oh, looks like we've actually reached maximum efficiency with this. Maybe we should have gone with a second aqua tuner. Hmm, let me think. If we take out the liquid reservoir and put in a second aqua tuner, we could run the oil through both aqua tuners. Yeah, because right now the liquid isn't getting any colder. It's stuck at 28 or so degrees. Let's see, could we do this easily? I mean, all we have to do is bring the water up here, right? And then into the liquid reservoir and then we bring it down again. Yeah, I think this might actually be worth a try. So putting the liquid reservoir on top of here and then we take some insulated piping. <laughs> Come on, give me the piping. We then go through here, through the wall. This should all be buildable into the liquid reservoir and then we check the temperature at this point. So my liquid shutoff would go right here. We don't even have to build this out of iron this time. And in order to get into the aqua tuners, all we have to do is this, right? And then go into the aqua tuners. I think that might be good. That means we need some more access to those rooms. Um, is this possible? Wait, wait, wait. Um, let me get rid of the upper two tiles here. So essentially, it's still gonna be the same loop, but this time around, we just do it a little bit differently, including two aqua tuners. This is, of course, not gonna help our heat issues <laughs> for the time being. Also, we might get a bunch of scolding duplicants. Um, yeah, Ashcan, are you doing fine? <laughs> Oh, why did you even build that pipe down there? It's like you want to provoke me. Also, liquid reservoir. We have to bring up what we have in there into our new reservoir. So instead of going into the old reservoir, we shouldn't do that anymore. Take apart this liquid bridge and also everything that runs through the aqua tuner shouldn't go anymore. Yeah, this all needs to go. Now, this really isn't the fix that I wanted to do, especially now because we get a whole bunch of scolding duplicants and I need to be aware who is almost dying. We don't need the liquid shut off at this point anymore. All we want is these pipes in order to lead into the reservoir. And that also means we can, for instance, do something like that temporarily. That is also going to lead into the reservoir. Ashkan is actually close to dying, so I'm going to send him over here. What is Jean doing? Jean, where are you? Uh, Camille is also not doing good. Jean, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, hopefully we can fix this really quickly. Oh no, liquid shutoff of course still requires something else before it. Namely, we're gonna need the sensor, of course. Ah, jeez. Liquid shutoff, you go right here instead. And we also give you a bunch of automation wires. Looks like nobody dares to build these three pipes here at the moment. I can understand why. Now, at this point, we might also have to swap a few things around here. So instead of going through here with my cooling loop, we are going to set the radiant pipe up here. At the moment, I'm really sorry, it is quite a chaos. But I have a plan how to get rid of the excess oxygen we're getting. Sheen, okay, you're my hero. She actually finished something here and she deserved to get into bed. Actually, Camille as well. Um, let me assign her right here. Okay, with that out of the way, um, do we get an output? Okay, this is going through here. It might be that the output is not working without an input, actually. Yeah, there we go. As soon as I built the input, the output also started working. Wonderful. Now we want to transfer the entirety of the oil up into the oil reservoir. Then we can take apart this one and build another extra aqua tuner. We actually also want to take our steam turbine output and put it over here. And I want to put it one block further down because I want to lower the size of this room by a tiny margin. So all of these pipes can go as well. Wonderful. Come on, you get, have to get out of there. Oh man. Okay, Ari needs to get into bed now. Mm, let me see. Yeah, this cot isn't actually busy. So Ari, you go into bed next. You know what, maybe to make this a little bit easier, we could raise the room instead of lower it, because lowering it also means lowering the steam turbine. If we wanted to do that, we would have to take apart this pipe here. Uh, we can still leave this in place. Actually, the liquid reservoir seems to be empty now, that's good. But this means I would want my vent one block upstairs, that should be good. And then our cabling would go into this aqua tuner and then the next aqua tuner we can take apart this wiring 
We can also take apart the aqua tuner and build it one block up. I think that should be possible. So aqua tuner instead would go directly here beneath the steam turbine. I think that is a much better idea. And this way I can simply build up these tiles and expel all of the oxygen that's up there. Second aqua tuner is also out of the way. And look at that. This works out perfectly. So all we have to do is build one tile after another here. We could even do this with normal tiles. Let's actually do it with normal tiles just for, you know, beauty's sake, I would say. I don't like double insulated tiles, actually. Wait, thermo aqua tuner, I did not tell you to be built out of copper. I wanted you to be built out of steel. Okay, let's have a look at the loop going into the reservoir, then getting into the sensor here. From the sensor into the shutoff, then it's gonna go down here. I'm not gonna connect this quite just yet. And if we are low enough, it's gonna go into the loop. If we are high enough, it's gonna get into the aqua tuners. So we're actually gonna run it through both of the aqua tuners, increasing our cooling efficiency. Then we're coming back out. We're going over here. So this is going to have to be a bridge into this direction. And this is going to allow us to actually build another bridge into this direction, closing the loop, getting into the input. So essentially, it's still the same system as mentioned. And whoops, before I forget, of course, we also want to connect to our radiant pipe. So maybe we take a little detour here and do something like that. Okay, now I see building these tasks could result in a problem of us losing a little bit of water. Let's see if we can actually do it without losing water. That would be... No, actually, we will lose the entirety of the water this way. Ah, darn it. <laughs> so maybe if we set up another tile here, we can prevent this from happening. Uh, wait, where did the oil go? Did I just... Did I just lose the entirety of the oil? How is this possible? Wait, I have to admit, this was really mean. Okay, I can deal with it. All we need to do is extract a little bit of oil from this pipe, for instance. Uh, give me like 100 kilograms or so, should be enough. Okay, this is not ideal, I have to admit. I wanted to push the oil on the second floor. Yeah, we're not getting any closer. <laughs> Okay, I think the way we can solve this problem is by mopping everything up and then we are gonna redo the cycle first with water and then with oil. No, first with oil and then with water, that's what I meant. <sighs> this is driving me insane, of course it's not gonna be fine. I mean, how can it escape here? It's just being compressed at this point. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna deconstruct the steam turbine, set up a tile here, then make this an airflow tile, remove this tile, let the carbon dioxide escape with the water, and then we, we will be fine. And I'm gonna be right back once I get this cycle running. Well, I have to say that was classic oxygen not included issues, but I think we now solved everything. I replaced everything and I believe the cycle is now working. Now it's actually cooling down the entirety of the oil. So that isn't an issue anymore. And now that it is below the 20 degrees mark, it's going through the cooling loop. And we should see this affecting the temperatures very quickly now. Of course, at the moment, all of the outputs of the steam turbines are being blocked as soon as we have this converted into steam. This is not going to be an issue anymore. And uh, this is going much better now. Are we cooling this down? Yes, all right. That's what I'm talking about. So we started at like 59 degrees with these metal tiles and now they are already down to 38 degrees. Let's wait a couple more aqua tuner cycles and see the end result. But I bet you we get this to the 20 degrees mark now. Yes, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. The color is getting greener. Okay, so if I leave this running now for a little bit, we should see the entirety of the base cool down again. <laughs> And we can tend to other projects. Alright guys, I think at this point we're gonna wrap up the episode for today. I sure hope you enjoyed this disaster. I mean, in the end it turned out well. I think this is gonna work out pretty nicely. And with that out of the way, don't forget to support the video with a like, a comment. And hopefully you are even gonna subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.